Howdy folks. So a uh, super quick video here. Um, I uh, acquired another motherboard today. Um, this one was uh, disposed of uh, as e-waste and it came with uh, a CPU and uh, I didn't know if this worked or not uh, so I picked it up for nothing other than the CPU. This is just a uh, an AMD Phenom quad core um, 9650. It's not a bad uh, not a bad CPU for you know general stuff. So anyway, I'll keep this, uh, but the motherboard appears to be dead, um, and uh, I kind of want to show you with the thermal camera how uh, how this thing uh, has failed. It's it's kind of interesting when you power this up. It doesn't matter whether it's got a CPU, RAM. It doesn't matter whether anything's populated or not. It does exactly the same thing. You turn it on, and the power supply comes on, and it stays on for a few seconds and then it shuts off and then automatically turns itself back on again. So it goes into this sort of endless cycle uh, where it powers up and then shuts down again. So let me just get my uh, my thermal camera running here. I'm not going to try and do video capture because it's absolutely horrible with this camera. So uh, this is fine, good enough. So anyway uh, I want to. I think the problem with this was there was probably a voltage spike or or something uh, that probably killed a large number of chips on this board. So I'll power it up here and uh, just turn it on, and you can hear the power supply. And I want you to look at this ITE chip right here, and look at what happens as the power supply turns on and off. That bright dot that you see on the right hand side of the chip is a resistor array. So clearly um, I think there's probably been a surge it's my best guess is there's probably been a power surge on maybe the 3.3 or the 5 volt rail uh, maybe caused by the power supply or I don't know something like that uh, and it's taken out uh, a lot of the chips on this board this is the the main BIOS chip so uh, of course the thing's not going to work with this thing being dead but there's other chips that have failed too for example on this side uh, we've got the Marvell uh, network controller chip which has failed um, you can see that one heat up and cool down very very rapidly actually it's amazing how quickly that heats up and cools down and uh, we've got the Aetheros uh, or sorry that, that Marvell chip was for SATA I believe this is actually the the network card this is the uh, uh, it's an Aetheros chip and you can see the voltage regulators obviously uh, Obviously, these chips have gone short inside, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's kind of died. But uh, I just thought I just thought that was kind of interesting to see how uh, how they were uh, they were heating up as they were uh, shorting out. But yeah, that's that's uh, that was a bad idea. Should not touch that. That's uh, that's hot. That's very hot. So yeah, the board's toast. But uh, I believe the CPU is fine because the CPU. I don't think the thing even gets to initializing uh, the regulators for the CPU because um, the CPU doesn't get warm uh, at all so I don't think there's even power to it so I think I'm okay with that so anyway uh, that, that's it for this uh, quick update just wanted to show that because I thought that was kind of interesting anyway thanks for watching